the tripod set up. It's plumb with the plumb bob. I have the boot stepped on and I got my rough level. So I can now take the cap off. I'm gonna have to stow the plumb bob this time uh, because the S7 actually has an optical plumb. So I need to use that instead. So I'm gonna just simply wrap up the plumb bob, fully extend it. And it goes right in that uh, sheath on the tripod leg. Then I can take my tripod cover off. That'll snap right on one of the legs as well. Wipe off for any debris. I'll emplace the S7 up top. And again, I'm gonna visually look underneath while I thread it in. I'm not gonna tighten it all the way. So I still have that free manipulation of movement. And what we need to do here is there is a circular level on the tri-brock itself. So we're gonna level that as we usually would. Then we're gonna look through this piece here. This is the optical. So you wanna spin this gray part for the crosshair focus and you push and pull it out for the sight focus. So we'll get to that in a moment. But first we need to level the tri-brock as best we can and then we'll look through here. So again, I'm using my two and my one, just because that's what's convenient to me. All right, once that bubble's centered, Again, I spin this for the crosshairs, I push and pull it for the sight focus. All right, it needs to move a bit. So what I'll do is I'll move it while looking through. I want this to be as plumb as possible. And now once it's there, I'll tighten it down a bit and I need to level it again just to verify that it stays plumb. So again, at the fisheye, should be very minor adjustments. And that's good. So, it's got that fine plumb now through the optical plumb. Uh, mechanically, it's been mechanically leveled, meaning the circular level's been uh, put in place but now I actually need to turn the instrument on put in the batteries power on the TSC 3 and I need to do the ele electronic level in this so at this point I'll open up the battery compartment take the s7 battery like so you'll see the brass slots here they go in like so pops into place this is the on button so hold that down until I see a green light it's good. And then looking here, just above the tri brock, I have two ports. One says 12 volt and one says COM. The COM port is what I'm going to plug into the TSC3. All right, so here we have the TSC3 to M7 or S7 cable. This part is going to go in the bottom of TSC3. This part goes into the COM port. So if we look at it, on the gray part here, it has a Trimble rose. That's the Trimble uh, emblem. And that's going to go facing upwards and it should pop right into place. Here it pop in. Then I'll take my TSC3. I'll ensure that it has a battery connected. Plugs in. And this can hang the same way that a tripod cover does. It's got this little metal hook on the back. I can just pop it right on. For the electronic level portion, we're actually gonna be looking at the TSC3 screen while also manipulating 
the leveling screws. Okay, so looking in the screen here, this is a TSE 3 that I've already went through, I've set up. If we go into the general survey, we see over here on the right side, it's attempting to connect to the S7 right now. This is the TSE 3 trying to connect. So in the meantime, what I can do is make a new job. Job, new job, and this will be something along those lines. I'll na name it. Uh, I plan on doing a one position angle, my name, and number one in case I do multiple. Then for the template, I'm going to select the template that we made earlier. And I simply press accept. Okay. And we see over here it's still attempting to connect. It's taking a while. So a troubleshoot procedure. I can come up to the S7, simply take out the battery real quick, pop it back in, and turn it back on. I'm looking at this little screen on it. If it says waiting to connect for a long period of time, then you might want to try this and it'll snap back in. So over here we see on the right, we have the actual S7 itself and we have the little prism offsets. So the, uh, the prism offset, if we select it, should be that negative 34 millimeters. It's actually three, negative 34.4 millimeters. And this is our offset for the specific type of prisms that we use. So I can accept that. Uh, and you notice it only displays, it doesn't display the decimal place, which is fine. So we have a job made, that's displaying, and now we're going to the electronic level. So we'll go instrument, electronic level, and it's displaying like so. So we want to get this as level as we can using the thumb screws, while also looking at this screen. And uh, what this is going to do is enable our, comp our uh, compensator. So looking at the instrument, the instrument also has that little LED screen with a circular level. So I'll orient it to where I can see it. And I'll level it just like any other. Okay. Once it's nice and center, I can go to the bottom right and press accept. And that's it as far as the leveling procedure. 